You don't have to be Sherlock Holmes to practice your powers of deductive reasoning. Or would that be inductive reasoning? Deductive, inductive. What's, What's the, the difference? difference? Deductive reasoning starts out with a hypothesis and examines the possibilities to reach a specific logical conclusion. For example, spiders have eight legs. A black widow is a spider. Therefore, a black widow has eight legs. Think of it as a mathematical equation. A equals B, B equals C, therefore A equals C. For deductive reasoning to work, the hypothesis must be correct. It's assumed that the premises spiders have eight legs, and a black widow is a spider, are true. So the conclusion is logical and true, because in deductive reasoning, if something's true of a group of things in general, it's also true for all members of that group. However, even if the generalization is not true, it's possible to come to a conclusion that sounds logical, but may also be incorrect. If I say all spiders eat fish, a black widow is a spider, therefore black widows eat fish. It's valid logically, but it's untrue, because the original statement is false. Inductive reasoning, on the other hand, makes broad generalizations from specific observations. There's data, then conclusions are drawn from the data. Here's how it works. A coin that I pulled from this bag is a penny. A second coin is a penny. A third coin is also a penny. Therefore, all the coins in the bag are pennies. But inductive reasoning allows for a conclusion to be false even if the premises are true. For example, cobras are venomous, cobras are snakes. Therefore, all snakes are venomous. Inductive reasoning may not always produce a true conclusion, but scientists can use it to produce hypotheses to investigate. And they use deductive reasoning to apply the hypotheses to answer specific questions about science. Deductive and inductive, and inductive reasoning. reasoning. But wait, what about abductive reasoning? This is a type of scientific reasoning that is neither inductive nor deductive. It usually starts with an incomplete set of observations and goes from there to the likeliest possible explanation. And it's used for making and testing a hypothesis with whatever information is available. For example, you walk into your room and find papers all over the floor, the windows open. You conclude that the wind blew the papers around because it's the most likely scenario. Of course, it's possible that your roommate snuck in and tossed the papers around, but the window theory is the more feasible conclusion. Deductive and inductive and abductive reasoning.